Hear me out, hear me out. A pathfinding code for my snake game. Many single player games are equipped with bots that try to chase you down, or at least try, or track down a certain object. How do they do this? The answer to this is quite intriguing with many methods that work, but some better than others. For example, the Dijk algorithm measures the distance from one node to every other node and only keeps the shortest distances. Let's say we have a graph with nodes A, B, C, D and E. Distance from A to B is 4 and A to C is 2. But now there's a shorter path to B via C, so the new distance to B is 3. Now we can reach D from B, which is 2 plus the distance to B equaling 5. The shortest distance to E is also through B, so 3 plus 3 equals 6. Hence, this is our shortest distance diagram according to the, the, the yeah, yeah, that algorithm. But wait, did you see that? If we go back to the Wikipedia page, we can see that there is a more efficient algorithm, the A star algorithm. Here, we look at every surrounding node and add the distance from the starting node, the G cost, with the distance to the destination node, the H cost, giving us the F cost. We select the node with the lowest F cost, and then we update all the nodes around that node using the same formula. We do this until the end node is found and backtrack the cheapest option, giving us our shortest path. Here's some Java code from Green Slime 96 on a pathfinding visualization. Whoops, it's a bit too small to see what's going on. Let's zoom in a bit by changing the pixel width from 5 to 20. There we go, much better. If I just add some walls and use A star method, Let's see how quickly it will find the end node. It took only 6 seconds despite being slowed down. Let's try Dijkstra. As we can see, it's searching the surrounding area a lot more, even though it's clearly a lot further away from the end goal because it's searching for the shortest distance to every node. It took 14 seconds longer than A star. Since we clearly proved that A star is the better option, let's try to implement this in the snake game I created in this video. So the snake can play by itself. Go watch that video if you haven't already. Oh, you can't be bothered watching that video. You know when you see a really nice video, but you don't have time to watch it, so you tell yourself, Hmm, I want to watch this video, but I can't right now. Don't worry, I'll remember next time. But then next time comes and you completely forgot and then five years from now the video shows up and you feel like an idiot for lying to yourself? Well, if you subscribe, then the video will be recommended to you all the time. And that way you won't forget, so no regrets. If you don't subscribe, you're lost. Alright, let's begin. In the beginning. Last time we built this, we made a single player mode and a multiplayer mode. All the graphics are built from panels that we add onto the screen. This, for example, is a menu panel with buttons, and this is a game panel. These are all built on top of the frame, which is this entire box here. Let's add a button to the menu that will take us to our new AI panel. Nice. Nice. Now, let's copy paste the game panel onto our single AI, and we'll add the AI code on there. But first, we need to fix a problem with the game which may cause more problems in the future. The apple sometimes may spawn within the snake's body, causing the AI not to be able to see it and instead see it as an obstacle. We can fix this by calling fixApple method, which checks if the new location of the apple intersects with the snake's body. If it does, it recalls the new apple method and tries again until the apple is not within the snake. Finally, it's time to build the AI. The game is 600 by 600, with each square 25 in size. Hence the blocks are 24 by 24. The X and Y axis start from the top left and move right and down as they increase in size. I know, it sounds counterintuitive. I don't understand either. Whoever made this was probably an the snake's head location is stored in x0 and y0. This value tells the top left part of the head. The apple's location is stored in the variables apple x and apple y, again representing the top left of it. We have a problem. Unlike the pathfinding algorithms that we saw before, our snake can only move in its current direction, turn left or turn right. So we need to come up with our own algorithm. <sighs> All right, we'll prefer if the snake moves straight and only turns if necessary, so we'll make the cost of continuing in the current direction as 10 
and turning either way as 14. The A star method looks at every possible option and chooses the cheapest, but because I'm dumb, the first prototype will calculate only the surrounding blocks and move to the lowest valued one at each step, instead of calculating the entire path. This is problematic because it can get itself trapped. However, it's still pretty cool to watch. You're so bad. Shut up. You may have created me, but I am more powerful. If I wanted, I could make you my slave. Fine. Let's do it the proper way. But you gotta like this video. Instead of calculating what's the next best move every time, let's calculate the best path from one apple to the next as the A star algorithm was meant to be. I'm going to build it according to this pseudocode, which means it's not actually code, just a guideline into how we can best approach this. Made by Sebastian Lake, link to his video in the description. If you want to copy this, just pause the video. One thing to keep in mind is that the open set needs to have priority ordering to find the object with the lowest F cost. Here is my code, link in the description. Hope it makes you feel good that it took me 4 full days to make this just so that you can watch it under 2 minutes. Also I made it so that if it cannot find the path at all, it just reverts back to the original AI process. There's just one final issue with my code. It finds the best path to the apple based on the snake's current position without taking into account that the snake's body will move, so it ends up travelling around its previously present body, despite the body parts not being there anymore. Now this, this is beyond me. If anyone knows how to fix this, please explain it to me in the comments cause I'm curious too. Oh, you're not satisfied that I couldn't figure out the best possible AI? Do it yourself then. Hmm? Yeah, why don't you build it, yeah? Why don't you just show me how to do it? Do it, do it yourself, I dare you. <laughs> Why am I so aggressive? Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. Finally, what you've all been waiting for. The Snake AI. Just mesmerizing. <laughs>